Assalamu alaikum. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I was sitting down minding my business and all of a sudden my name is called out. I didn't realize that I had to speak today. But one thing you learn in politics is the ability to speak at a drop of a hat. Indeed, I admire the work done by the farmers at this marvelous charity because not only are they involved in giving handouts, but they are doing health work. They are preparing people for the future. And I was saying earlier on that you give fish to one person, you're only feeding for a day. You've got to teach that person to actually fish. And I was speaking in the House of Lords on Charities not very long ago, and I like to tell you the story. In fact, I'm saying the story uh, on my table. And I like the story, and you understand why I'm telling you the story. There's a storm, and thousands of starfish are washed on the shore. And there's a man walking on the shore. He picks up a starfish, and he throws it in the water. Then he walks a few yards, he picks another starfish and throws it in the water. The idea is that he wants his starfish to survive because they will not survive on the shore. So he picks them up and throws them in the water. And a man is watching this chap, you know, doing this exercise, chucking uh, the starfish in the water. And the man goes to this, this other man goes to this other man and says, you're doing this. There are thousands of starfish on the shore. What difference will it make? And the man picks up the starfish and throws it in the water and it says it makes difference to this starfish. So there's a moral to this story. We can't help anybody. But whoever we help, we do make a difference in what we do. And I'll take my hat off to our guests, our, our host today, because of the marvelous work they do. I was brought up in Uganda. I was going to talk to His Excellency later on. I've been to Chuba as a young man, and I was brought up in Uganda, of course. I'm very pleased that hopefully there will be peace in, in Sudan. There's so much work to be done, but it's good men like our our, our host today, who are doing this marvelous work, undoubtedly. There's so much to be done, and we rely on uh, donations. And I give donations to charities, and I say to the charity people, I have the easiest job, I just give you the money. But you have the more difficult job, because you are actually at the shop. You see the misery. And therefore, I can't do what these people do because I'm perhaps going to call it and start crying when I see something. But I'm a bit of a softy at heart. But indeed, it's important that we support the charities. So very, very important. And I believe that there is a great deal of joy in giving. If you give something to somebody, it gives joy to the donor as well as the recipient. Both parties get happiness. And I was saying earlier on, our Morris religion, we have the principle of Sakti. And one of the things I was most impressed by, what was said earlier on, is that our Muslims, they not only look after Muslims, but they look after Christians, and they can do this marvelous work, irrespective of the color, the race, religion because in Islam there is the acceptance of all the religions. I was giving a talk, I worked in the field. I was giving a talk last week because just come back from Jerusalem and you know there is Hazrat Umar mosques and those of you who know Hazrat Umar's mosque there is the Jerusalem declaration which Hazrat Umar declared when the Muslims conquered Jerusalem. Because the Christian leaders said that we will surrender this city 
to your leader. And this marvelous story of Hazrat Umar and his servant uh, alternated when they were riding a camel. And when they arrived at the gates of Jerusalem, Hazrat Umar is on the ground and his servant is on the camel. And the Jerusalem Declaration talks about acceptance of all religions. And I'll also, also, having been to Jerusalem, you know the story of Salauddin Ayyubi. Salauddin Ayyubi, when he conquered Jerusalem, he said to the Christians, I will allow everyone to live here happily. The Christian leader says, how do I know this? And Salauddin Ayyubi said, you have the word of Salauddin Ayyubi. The point I'm making in Islam is the acceptance of our religious, of the religion of all the, of all communities. I've just come back, like I said, also from from uh, 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 Egypt, and I met the Grand Sheikh Al Azhar, and he was giving the right message. And I think by doing all these.